whenever I'm feeling blue or have a streak of feeling insecure or usually around my time of the month, I love to pamper myself with an extensive routine in order to not only make me look and feel more beautiful, but also to rejuvenate my spirit and ground me in truth. The truth is, I am always beautiful and it's okay to remind myself of that by doing what makes me feel good. Sometimes it's good to just like be a girl and exist and be pretty. I'm going to show you guys the beauty rituals that I personally practice and yes, of course, it contains a bit of magic. I mean, I am the love witch after all. I like to start with a spiritual bath to cleanse away any negativity that I've picked up, any limiting beliefs about myself, and releasing any past hurts that have been clouding my mind. You can add really anything you'd like to your spiritual bath. I like to add either Florida water or moon water to bring in the energy of releasing. I like to burn a white candle for purifying the space and I always make sure I anoint it with oil first. Everything is about intention, so whatever you choose to include in this ritual for yourself, make sure to consciously set the intention for your items. I also like to intuitively pick crystals, so I chose a few to promote self-love and cleansing. I also like to save old herbs and old incense powders I've collected to add to my spiritual bath because it not only smells good, but also has that purifying magic that I am looking for. I spray my ritual mist before I begin to connect with myself and invite my angels into this space. I like to also smudge with either sage or palo santo. This is a California pine bundle that was gifted to me and I love the smell of it. It makes me feel lighter and very peaceful. For a spiritual bath, it is important to completely submerge yourself in the water. I believe so you can truly cleanse your entire physical being. I also like to journal during this process. If I have any negative feelings that come up or insecurities, I like to get it out of my system by writing down affirmations to release these thought patterns. rosemary hair rinses because they have a double purpose. It helps your hair physically grow longer and stronger, but rosemary as an herb also promotes purification of the spirit and of the mind. To follow up after my spiritual bath, I'm just going to do my shower routine and rinse down the drain, all that yucky energy that I have now released during the ritual. And just so you guys know, all of the products I use throughout this video will also be in the description below. I have a homemade lemon sugar scrub to not only exfoliate and brighten up my skin, but also to brighten up my mindset. Mm -hmm. 
After a shower, I follow up with a face moisturizer. The Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream is my ride or die. I swear it has transformed my skin for the better. For my hair, I like to add some leave-in conditioner and hair oil for moisture. I try and keep my hair as healthy as possible by giving it the love and care that it needs. I use the Con Air regular blow dryer and separate my hair into sections to blow dry. I just feel like it overall helps my hair with volume and styling ability when I blow dry rather than air dry. switch up how I style my hair, but for today I decided to straighten it while curling in the ends for a bit more volume. While I do my makeup, I sometimes will do a beauty spell first. I don't always do this, but when I do, it truly helps me feel more confident. I clearly really like using candles in spell work. I feel connected to the element of fire. Pink candles are great for glamour magic. It represents beauty, creativity, and attraction. It has a flirtatious, loving energy to it. I use these same crystals from earlier, and I add herbs that I have picked intuitively. Chrysanthemum is good for protection. Every time I do a spell, I add a protection herb no matter what. I add time for healing and set the intention for healing self-image. I added pink rose petals for self-love and physical beauty. Make sure you let your candle burn all the way down in order for the spell to activate and please use fire safety and be careful when working with herbs and fire. For my makeup today, I am doing a go-to look that always makes me feel good in my skin. I'm starting with a skin tint and concealer as my base and following up with my favorite translucent powder to set. I like to use a little face gloss stick as a nose highlight and then I will contour using my contour quad from e.l.f. I am also going in with a neutral brownish gray shade to contour my eyes and add some dimension. Thank you. 
The Glossier Cloud Paints are some of my favorite blushes ever and I decided to go in with the shade Haze. I wanted to wear false lashes today so I cut an Ardell Wispy Lash in half and put them on my outer corners. I follow up with mascara to blend the lashes as well. I decided to use the Too Faced Lip Injection Balm in this pretty baby pink shade. This has been my go-to shade lately. I feel so much lighter and confident and I believe self-care comes in many different forms and this is just a routine that helps me feel grounded in my body and reminds me just how beautiful I am not only physically but in my heart as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video and felt the magic as I did. Feel free to subscribe for more videos like this one. I love you guys and I'm sending you all of the love and light. Bye!